Hi YouTube! Um, today I wanted to showcase the Mini Bee from Juju Bee. So this is the Mini Bee in the Unikiki print. Um, this is what the front looks like, the side. And one of the things you'll notice that on all the Mini Bee, there's always one side where the print is upside down. And here are the straps. And the other side where the print is right side up. Here's the bottom and the top. And I thought I would do this review not only because I really like this bag, but also because I don't think I've seen too many uh, reviews of the Unikiki Mini Bee online. So um, I purchased this one from a store in Finland um, because I wanted uh, some print placement. Unfortunately, uh, the mini bees in Unikiki print are discontinued, so there's only so much of them left. And um, I got one of the last ones, and I really wanted something with um, this mama and baby unicorn on the front. Um, and so this is the one that I got. Okay, so let's get started into the actual bag. Um, here on the front, um, as you'll notice, there's no other pockets. And I wanted some hand sanitizer that was an easy to access place, so I've um, attached it via a carabiner. And it does make it nice and handy. And I thought this would flop all over the place and maybe get stuck in the back there and make it uncomfortable to wear, but that has not been the case. This has been a super comfortable bag to wear. It's one of my favorite bags out of the GGB line, and I have a lot of backpack style bags because that is how I prefer to wear my bags. And so I have the BFF, the Be Right Back, and then this Mini B. So obviously this is the smallest of those bags. Um, here I just have my it can get sticky when this is full. It can be hard to pull out a wall at the sides. And then I also have my iPhone. It's an iPhone 4S. And that's all that can be in that front zip pocket. It is pretty deep. It goes all the way down here to the bottom. You could probably fit a bottle in here too if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, now for the interior. So it's pretty full, so I'm going to open it carefully. Um, and the bag is really nice because it has built-in gussets, which I really love. So um, I always keep some snacks. Um, this is a prescription sunglasses case. You can see how it fits in there. And so in the rest of the bag, I have um, one fuel cell and three medium set pieces. Uh, this is my medium set piece in the Anima, Animal Lini, sorry, Animal Lini print from GGB. And um, this is not my favorite Tokidoki print, uh, but I still like it. Sorry. And I must say that I think of all of the set pieces, the, um, the medium set piece is the most useful for me. So, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to tell you what I have in here. I have just my mommy stuff. And so I have it packed pretty full with some more hand sanitizer, lipsticks, Tylenol, etc. And then I also keep a bottle. And this is the um, Clean Canteen Sippy Cup, I guess. Um, so one thing I want to say, if you've been considering getting this bottle, because the pro is that it's stainless steel, and so it's a little bit safer because there's nothing leaching like the way that plastics can leach into uh, bottles. Um, in terms of whether or not it leaks, it's pretty good when you're just holding it and you're holding it upside down so you know water is coming out. But I have noticed that if the bottle is pretty full and I have it lying on its side or it falls to its side in the bag, it does leak a little bit. So just thought I would let you know if you've been considering that. <clears throat> And then in here, in this medium set piece, this is in the Bubble Trouble print. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite um, Tokidoki prints. I love that little cow character. So here, I have my diapering stuff. So I've managed to fit into this little pouch um, one size 4 diaper. One thing of diaper cream. Um, just as a quick aside, I really dislike this diaper cream. 
thank goodness I only bought it in the travel size, but I find that it's super thick and hard to get out of the tube, difficult to spread, and yeah, like once I finish using it up, I won't be buying it again. It's terrible. Um, and then in here I also have, in this little Ziploc, uh, some wipes. And they actually stay moist for quite a while like this. So I have about five or six wipes in there, I think. Um, a booty pod does not fit into the medium set piece. I do have a booty pod and booty pod cover, but they won't fit. Um, but I like having smaller diapering su supplies ready for when I go on shorter trips. And so this is a light change pad in the print Lotus Lullaby, also from GGB. And I must say that the light change pad is probably one of my all-time favorite change pads. It, they're small though. Um, she doesn't fit entirely onto it, onto the change pad, but um, her legs are usually, you know, kicking or up in the air anyway, so I figure it's okay. And then I have one small, tiny little zip bag, zip wet bags from um, Apple Cheeks in the print Love Happens. I just have that because normally I carry um, a cloth diaper separately in the bag, uh, but lately because we've been undergoing renovations and such, um, it's been harder to stay on top of the diaper laundry, so we're just tempor temporarily using disposable diapers. Okay, and so just two more items left in the bag. So in this set piece, this is the um, uh, medium set piece in the Fair Tala print. And I have to say that this is probably uh, one of my favorite prints. I guess they're kind of tied. I really like Unikiki too. And um, I really like Bubble Trouble. So, But this print always makes me smile. <laughs> I love fairy tales. I loved them when I was a kid. And I still enjoy watching Once Upon a Time and stuff. That show on ABC. So I guess, anyways, it works. So here I just have a pair of, uh, sorry, this is the pair of pants rolled up. And then this is the uh, shirt. And this is in size 12 months. So... I sometimes, for sunny days, I can also squeeze a hat into here, um, and that works. Okay, so the last item in here um, is a fuel cell. I actually just stuffed this for the purposes of this video. This fuel cell is in the print Shadow Waltz, and it's really pretty if you haven't seen it before. Um, it's got this like really cool pink lining <laughs> in here. So anyways, like I said, this is just stuff for the purposes of this video. Normally, I actually carry my Becco Gemini carrier in one of these, and it stuffs it a little bit more full than this perhaps, but this is a pretty close representation. Um, it's just that the carrier is upstairs in my daughter's room and she's sleeping right now, so I just thought for the purposes of this video, this is all I'll do. And it fits in there with all this stuff. And then back here is a little pouch, little zippered compartment. It goes down about here. So my fingertips are down here and then this is the size of it. Width-wise it's about the width of a hand. Um, the pouch is useful. I sometimes put like wipes or other things like that in there. I'm really into using pouches because I do um, change between several different bags uh, depending on the occasion if I need to be out a little bit longer or shorter. Um, so yeah and then you have the jujube uh, little dangles there. So anyhow um, I just want to say I really like this bag. I find it really super useful, super comfy to wear. It's a really good size for um, even a half a day outing. I can make it work for me especially if I'm not carrying my carrier or if I'm putting it on the stroller, but I went out with my daughter for about probably four hours yesterday with the carrier in here, um, and it worked awesome. So I just feel like it's a great, it's a great option um, if you didn't want to, like, you know, if you've been thinking about it and, and wasn't sure, um, I would actually really recommend it. And even though it's pricey for a backpack, uh, some people say they're buying it with the intention of uh, handing it down to their children when they get older. My daughter's only one. Um, it's $100, though, including shipping, to get it to my house. It was $100 Canadian. And so I actually had um, no intention of providing this bag to my daughter, uh, for the time being anyways. And not only is she too small, but also because I feel like, well, $100 spent on a bag for a three- or four-year-old is kind of pricey so um 
This is bought purely for the intention of me, and it's really worked. So now I'm also just going to put it on my back over there. It'll be empty, but um, you can at least get an idea of what the sizing looks like on me. Thanks for watching YouTube.